this is Terry again, and it is another edition of An Orca Today, and you can see it is windy, looks frigid, and I am pulling my plants, especially my Brasavola types, closer, Brasavolas and Cattleyas, closer to the house, if not inside. To really get that in, so a lot of these basavlas in. This is a, I think that's a, uh, shoot, not a phoenix. That's my phoenix here. And these basavlas definitely have to go in. These, that's. The Nodosa, that's the Gladys Nodosa. And then that has to go in. And I've got these that are going in. That's that encyclia that is Stephen Swinton. And then I've got this is Grape Alada. So you know, I am putting these in. I got all those in the greenhouse. They have a crate right there that's got some cat layers in it. Here's my BC North Miami. It really is supposed to warm up, folks. Um, well, I think it's going to get actually cold tonight, maybe in the 40s. But then it's going to be in the 50s at night, like the middle 50s, for at least another couple weeks. So, but I'm gonna have to get them in anyway. I was trying to milk the last bit of Indian summer, as always, and have more time to organize my collection. But, let me hang this up here. Obviously, today has taught me that I need to just go ahead and get them in. Even though they're still seemingly surviving being out here this definitely likes heat I gotta take that swir swir the anum in but yeah that's the next thing to go in it'll be well after um, after these Brasavolas and Cattleyas up here. Those will go in as well. That's my Brasavola. Perennial times Jiminy Cricket. This is that den. Um, Del Curiae. That's my proper queen. This is a cross that is, um, no, this is a copper queen as well, I think. No, this is a uh, Hippodama times Small World. Yes, Hippodama times Small World. And this is a little mini Catlea She and Ya Champion Red Apple. It's got that growth up there. And there's my an encyclia. This is my um, den golden eye, which can take a little bit of a cool, but I need to get those in. So now I am going to show you what's in the greenhouse, show you how the greenhouse looks now. Okay. Be right back. Okay, before I go in, I want to show you that this is what is waiting to go in. These are Mitzi's plants. Well, yeah, the majority of them are. That's, this is not, yeah, this is the lemon drop. What's this tag here? Hot lava stars, that's this. That is not a Mitzi plant. But these are all Mitzi's plants. These down here are not Mitzi's plants. 
These are ones that I bought in from outside. Uh, there's the Bobo that I got yesterday. This is, um, yeah, Julius Alonzo Roberts. So yeah, I've had these plants. And this I believe is uh, Martin Wolf something. Just to tell you. Let's go inside and see what is happening. Yeah, this is a Martin Wolf. Yeah, that's another one. Okay, so you ready for this? And you see what I have outside. Okay, so as you come in from the house, here's the humidifier. It says it's 70 and 65. My daichias hanging out here. There's my leptotes. Of course, there's my jewel orchids and my little angricums over here, the babies sitting alongside my corner survive and my gigantia alba. And then here's my uh, urea, urea multiflora. So, as we go towards the east side, these Brasavolas that are hanging here will be moved to another location. These are some of Mitzi's Phalaenopsis here that are just hanging here next to this. And then this Epidendrum here is hanging here as well. This is the one with the spike. This is my um, Viviparum. It's a species. And then as I go back here, being extra careful, I have some epidendrums here. Uh, more rosavolas hanging up high here, and over here I have a few bulbos. Down here, of course, is my rack of. This is the fragrant corner. Still remains that way, and I can walk even back further. And I did get my plants up, although I still need to secure this better so that it doesn't slide down again. So there, these are my encyclias that will sit on a rack here. Uh, depending on how I do that, this, this humidifier will either go one way or the other, or I can put a rack here. This rack kind of stays here so that it's flexible to be moved in case I need to turn on my heater here. This light will be on a timer. You can see there's my Cola Stylus Parkinsonianum that's got my Dan Falconieri on it. And beyond that is my Dan, my uh, Docrilla. Um, and you can see there's my, that big Dendrobium there that I got from Andy's and there are just various resting or growing kind of cattleya types and encyclias that are up high. So yeah, that's, that's that. And so I do have more stuff up here that, is, that are hanging out, kind of resting here. And of course here are my Phragmapedes, not my Phragmapedes, my uh, Pathiopedums. And there's that little bloom that just finished. And they're all looking pretty well, as well as my Phalaenopsis here. Let me get past here without bumping stuff. Because I do still have stuff kind of hanging just precariously, waiting on my other benches and things to get in so that they can have a resting place. And here is that file that I got from Mitzi, that really nice style, the Chrome and Proper, Time Stone Yard, with the fan blowing up on them as always. And now I am back to the middle of the greenhouse where I missed, there's those Lelia Rubescens, Aria Times Alba, hanging out there. 
And then as I go down, this is the trichoglottis right here. Here's more uh, brassavlas. This is my cuculata that just came went out. There's my perineae. There's my other trichoglottis. But this is the uh, gemata, gemata. That's got those buds that I've been pointing out in my videos. So we should be seeing blooms on that. There's a gongor there. There's another gongor. And of course I have that gongor outside. There's Mitzi Shulariana. And there's my frag grande back there. And things seem to be okay. There's my Kosh Wallace, BLC Kosh Wallace. And yeah, my Dimorphocus doing well. There's my Varcarias. Those are gonna be moved too. They both are have they both have spikes. Two of them, two out of four, have spikes. And yeah, my Stanhopias have to hang up as well somewhere and I've got these over here and I still have to find a place for the few plants that are in there and this bulbophyllum needs to get some water and that's fine this is my discolor my nindy and this is uh, that uh, little star little what is it? little Little atro, I guess. And there's my getting so many. And there's purple rain. All right, so that's pretty much it. And I do have things here, which I have to watch. They're just there temporarily. Or what I need to do is I need to really fortify this. Push that down and make it more secure so that the heat does not penetrate past that point because that's how I lost a few of my cat layers last year um, because of that heater there's my gigantia but anyway I'm trying to give this a water that's a bulb of phylum that was a gift take this one out that's my tangerinum that has been sitting here these like warm temps, those antelopes. So that's where that sits. And okay, everything is looking great and I still have room for more. So anyway, folks, I have to have room for more because I have more plants out there as you just saw. But anyway, this has been an orchid today. Sorry it's been so long. But this is Terry again. And thanks for watching. Enjoy your orchids. Bye.